Well, hey guys, uh, lately I've been doing a few videos with um, um, cleaning some relics, and I used that Kramer's um, improver. That was really good for wood and all that stuff, and I'm still going to do some more things on that. But this is a new um, uh, cleaning method that I found that I think is really cool, and I've got to do a lot of experimenting with it, but it really works good on aluminum. Um, it's oxalic acid. Let me get that picture of that right there. Now, this is some I bought off of uh, eBay. This is a two pound package for like 10 bucks. You probably get it cheaper. You could go to the hardware store and buy wood bleach uh, for like decks and stuff. And it's got oxalic acid in it. And it might be cheaper or easier. I don't know. But this stuff, this was pure. Uh, you can see down here on the thing 99.6% uh, pure. So this was, you know, pretty potent stuff, but you don't have to mix it heavy and mix it hot. But now what I do, here's some uh, aluminum that I, like a thimble, that one had corrosion and rust and stuff on it. And I, you know, I didn't want to, want to be gentle with it. I didn't really want to tumble it, but I've done, I have tumbled them before and they work good, but you know, it's a little rough on them. There's a dog uh, tag, dog tag, uh, dog tax tag. That cleaned up really good. Uh, and then a piece of, I'm not sure, uh, it's got an M, I'm not sure if it's some sort of little medicine container, a uh, pill container or what, but it's really cool. But it's anyway, that, that cleaned up real good. So I'm experimenting to show you how to use this stuff. Here is some, um, um, this is uh, a Merry Widows that I found. Uh, a lot of you guys have found these. And this one, I mean, I could probably do better and clean it up a little bit different. But this stuff here, you don't have to worry about um, tumbling it or, or roughing it up. So um, I'm going to try it in this oxalic acid and show you how to work it. This is a piece off of uh, a measuring tape, uh, aluminum piece of uh, measuring piece from a sawmill. All these come from an old sawmill that I've been uh, metal detecting over the years. Uh, and here's just a lid, off of, an aluminum lid off of one of the bottles and stuff anyway they're dull and you see the junk on them but this oxalic acid is really easy to use uh it doesn't take a whole lot of uh, effort at all and it's not like electrolysis it won't stain or or do do weird things with the coloring that's the only thing weird that i found out already with with uh electrolysis is that it kind of does weird things with color on the material so hopefully i can pour this in there this is just a one cup of a warm, kind of warm water, and the warm kind of helps dissolve this oxalic acid and gets it, uh, you know, mixed real well. So I pour just a little container here to hold my stuff. One cup of water, then I take one tablespoon, and you can mix this any way you want to. This just works, I've experimented a little bit with this. Uh, get about, um, let me see if I will get it right. That right there is plenty. For what we're gonna do, that's about one tablespoon for one cup. You can go lighter, you can go heavier. But uh, pour that in there. This is pretty, you know, this is stout enough. Uh, and then stir it around, let it dissolve, it'll dissolve clear. And my container is just about too small for this one cup. But I wanted to show you real quick, guys, what how to do this. Stir it around, and eventually, it'll go completely back to water. You've dissolved it. Everything is dissolved. You don't have to worry about ratios. The electrolysis, you need got to worry about so much uh, uh, sea salt and so much, you know, to use pure salt. And then how much baking soda. And that's all good. I like electrolysis for some things. But for these aluminum pieces and stuff, I think this works a whole lot better. It's a whole lot less aggressive. A whole lot easier on your items. All right, now we're back to clear. So we've got everything mixed. We're ready to go. All you got to do... Drop the items in. That was gonna catch air if I don't get the air bubbles out. Wanna make sure it's covered up. Drop the items in there. Now I should be wearing gloves, I apologize. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick while I'm talking to you. Uh, but uh, this uh, this is oxalic acid. It's not very talk, I mean, it's not gonna hurt you too bad. I don't think it's that, you know, uh, harmful. Um, but it's still, you don't want to, you really would like, need to wear gloves and uh, keep yourself safe and everything. But uh, then that's it. We'll just leave it in there. I'm going to leave it in there for about an hour and come back. And uh, you could leave it in there for 30 minutes or whatever. I'll just kind of keep an eye on it and uh, see what kind of 
progression it makes. And then we'll get back with you. All right, guys, it's uh, been about 15, 20 minutes. And I looked at it, and it looks like everything's going to pretty well... Um, it's reacted fine. It looks like it's cleaned up pretty good. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm not going to have any gloves on, but I'll take my little tweezers here and take it in, put it in some fresh water, and uh, then we'll just scrub it a little bit. I've got a little nylon brush. You can use probably a little brass brush, but you see how that's coming out real easy. You know, I'm just barely scrubbing. I'm not, I'm not hurting it at all. Uh, it's cleaning up really good. It's really dull beforehand. You saw the pictures. Um, it's really dull. But now, all that's gone. Clean as a whistle. Looking real good. Oops. Need to quit touching that. Like I said, it's not very toxic. It's not very, you know, caustic. I think they call it caustic or it's, it's, it's very mild. Uh, it doesn't hurt your skin hardly. Um, I think if you left it laying on your skin, you know, left it on your skin a long time, it probably might give you a little burn, but um, it's just touching it and stuff and then wash it right off. It, it's not gonna affect you too bad. But, uh, but this is cleaning up really good. You can see now that Mary Widow's is back, back, back to normal. Back, back to no, new. Um, want to see what this lid, this lid was very dull. Um, there we go. Uh, it was very dull and had a lot, of, not, not a lot of stuff on it. I had cleaned it up quite a bit, but it was just very dull and very, uh, I'm trying to record this with my phone one handed, got it clipped on my shirt kind of. So I'm not, probably doing the best video in the world but I want to give you an idea of what this oxalic acid will do now this is just after about 15 minutes now if it was really bad you could go in clean it and then take it and put it back in for a little bit longer you know check it and well, there you go I mean you see what a difference that makes how much brighter and how much the detail comes out and it doesn't hurt uh, like I said uh, you're not hurting the, the m m metal or nothing. You're not scrubbing anything to where, you know, like I've used um, uh, the tumbler. Tumbler works really good for aluminum, but it takes forever. And you might take some of your detail out with the tumbler. So, um, you know, I'm hoping this comes out. Hope you can see everything I'm doing. I'm shooting blind, kind of. But this is coming out really, it leaves the paint. You can see there was some paint down in there and it leaves that, it doesn't affect that too bad. Um, but it really cleans up all that junk out of that, out of the cracks and crevices. And there you can see the numbers and stuff real good. Everything's brightened up. It's a whole lot better. This, this stuff really does work good. Uh, I'm really impressed with it. Um, so, but anyway, you could get it. It's oxalic acid. I apologize for the video and on this last part, I was trying to do it with it clipped to my shirt because I didn't have a, a monopod or, or a tripod to put my camera on. But um, try this oxalic acid, see what you think. It's not very expensive. It's easy to use and you see the results. Uh, now what you could do with this now, with this oxalic acid, if you wanted to just throw it away or do away with it, you put baking soda in it. Now it'll react, it'll bubble a lot. And you keep putting baking soda in it until it quits reacting. And then you can just pour it down your drain. It neutralizes it. So um, you could do, it's easy to dispose of. Uh, doesn't hurt anything. So anyway, that's my latest uh, video of uh, Relic recoveries and, and fix, you know, trying to get them back to where you can see what's on there and see the detail. So I'll try to do a few more of these if I can. I'll try to experiment with this oxalic acid on something else and get back with you. All right, guys. Thanks.